Thoroughbred? He's a Belgian Warmblood. Belgian Warmblood, okay. Um, so he had a split when we first got him. Yep. So he had like a month or two to kind of recover from that. So we've been starting him over like frost rails, like two foot. Okay. So four coming five. Yeah. So young horse, wow, okay. Five Very good. And in moderate condition? Uh, he's, in, he's in like a six day week. Program. And is recovered from his... Uh, injury or whatever. Okay, very good. Yes. All right, excellent. And this horse is working what five days a week, six days. You know what's yeah. your okay. We work, um, we put him in drawings once a week. Okay. Try and like we're trying give him a little structure with yeah, other than growing up. Okay, so I'm so sorry. The game. Chelsea. Chelsea. Okay, Chelsea. Good morning. Hi. Hi. How are you, Mark? You are. Liz. Hi, Liz. How you doing? Good. I'm Good, good, all right. But good. <laughs> there you go. Well, we're still kicking. All right, love it. So, Liz, what's your store? What's your horse here? So, this is Ollie. He's a six year old quarter horse. Um, very low mileage when we got him. Um, so, we've been doing mostly a lot of dressage work. Mm -hmm. we have recently introduced him to jumping. Yep. Uh, ground poles, cross rails. Yep, getting him. Yep, yep, rails. yep. Um, very nice. How long have you had the horse? Uh, seven or eight months. Okay. Good, okay. And you're riding how many days a week, just to get an idea um, of your... I usually ride him about four days a week. Okay, so you're actively riding and yeah. fit and, you know, staying... Yep, and then my trainer rides him once or twice a week. All righty, very good. Okay, so we got Chelsea, and I want to say Liz, but it's yes. Liz. Okay, there we go, Chelsea, Liz. Good morning, how are you? Good, how are you? All righty, so this is a, another young one. I understand yeah. just kind of... Yeah, the, the second time off the property. Uh-huh, wow, uh, okay. We've been doing... Uh, Cross rails, ground poles, little tiny verticals. Haven't haven't done any gymnastics yet. Right, um, right. But into just getting feet wet. How old is the horse? Six. Six years old. I started them in March. Right now. Okay. And he pretty much was just asking to feel good. I got gotcha. you. Um, really good brain. Just one of and just needs to uh, get experience. Yeah. So despite being six, common seven, really has the maturity for five year old in the regards to experience and yeah. stuff like that. Okay, great. And what was his breed? Did you say? Holsteiner. Holsteiner. Yeah. Okay, very nice. And I'm so sorry, your name? I'm sorry, Bob. Bob. Okay, Bob. Bob, Liz, Chelsea. And good morning, Mark. You are? Linda. Linda. Hello, Linda. Hi. How you doing? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. What's you. shaking? Everything good? Yeah, everything's fine. Wonderful. What do you have here? What's your animal here? This is a 10-year-old thoroughbred. I've had him for 10 years. I bought him as a late three-year-old. Okay. Lip. Okay. And we're 50, I'm 50 years backyard, and I've had him seven years. Wow, okay. And how many days a week are you riding? Four days a week, okay. But for we walk a lot, and we don't jump. Right, 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 okay. Like I am, yeah, yeah, sure. I got on him once and jumped stuff like that. Gotcha. But I never did. I understand. Like right, right, right. And your vocation, I see by your saddle, is that more of a dressage or a three-day type saddle? What is that? It's a little... This is a schlaze. Okay. That I got. It's an obsolete schlaze anymore. Okay. Any it's a classic. Uh, okay. Uh, it's a classic. We'll call it a classic, okay. Bob. Okay. I'm a classic. He's a classic. It's Isn't it once you get over 50 years, it's what they call it. It's, it's a, I don't know, it falls into another category. <laughs> so we're just here to be company employees. Okay, wonderful. Good. Well, we'll have if some fun. And again, what we want to try to do in this type of series, we got some young horses, and, and you know, so what we want to try is work some transitions, get to talk about exercises a little bit. You know, I'm kind of working with a young five-year-old and, you know, exploring new fences. As you said, poles, rideability, gymnastics, putting the two together, some sense of semblance. You know, some days are better than others. You know, but as I say, it's all kind of fun and good. Okay, why don't we take the rail out to the left? Okay, and we've got Bob, we've got Liz, we've got Chelsea, and I'm spacing out on the Linda. Linda. So we got Linda and Liz, Liz and Linda, Linda, Liz, Linda. All righty. So again, space yourself out a little bit. Okay, as best you can. I could be the dark thing. You could be the no. You're Linda. You will always be Linda. And I got it. All righty, so again, remember, watch out for one another. If you see somebody a little slower, make a nice turn, give yourself room, you know, just be aware of one another. We got plenty of room, which is lovely. Okay, so at the walk, some horses walk a little fast, some horses walk a little slow. Each horse has their own natural rhythm. So as some of them are, this is a new venue for many of them, so like, where am I? You know, some are looking down in that corner, some are rushing a little bit. Just find that nice, even balance 
balance there. There we go. There you go, Liz. Nice. Carry your hands. Just, you know, I love the walk. It's very lovely. How about a half an inch shorter with the rain? I'm thinking everything is nice, but I don't want a big loop in the rain. I'd like to see a light relationship. You know, you're a very sympathetic rider, which is lovely, but I don't want that kind of casual hacking look. I want an efficient, neat, tidy look. There you go. Put those heels down. All righty, guys, let's go off to a posting truck. I had the same idea, Bob. I'm with you. These young horses, get them into work a little bit. Now, that's going to be the spooky corner. Take your time. We'll get there better and better. Monitor the rhythm. You're doing all right. Maybe slip right in here, Bob. That's it. You're doing fine. Keep looking to the left. That's it. There you go, Chelsea. Keep coming a little bit. Be patient, Bob. We'll get this corner. Go down to the end, right? Don't get fixated on this area too quickly, right? Our horse is fresh, a little bit electric right now. We'll get it. A little more natural flow there, Chelsea, if you can, right? I mean, you know the horse better. It's a youngster. But again, just letting that flow right there. Good. There you go, Linda. Right on. Linda, I like the trot. Keep your eyes up. Right, hands more out in front of you. Right, I want my hands, and we're more forward seat riders than we are behind the motion riders. There you go, Bob, that's fine. And everybody come back to the walk. Oh, oh, that's a downward transition. And we'll trot again, wait on it, Linda, good, be patient. There you go, Chelsea, lovely. Chelsea, look through the turn. You got a beautiful rain lane. Lower leg is excellent there for a young four-year-old. It's a nice looking trot. It's a good start right there. Relax a little bit, not too slow. Not to, there you go. Bob, watch getting over choked up with the reins. I can appreciate efficiency, but you almost watch that you're not too clutched out on the head there, right? There we go, Linda, keep coming a little bit, a little more natural flow, good. There you go, nice. There you go, Linda, very good. That's it, nice, Bob, the horse is settling there for a moment. Again, it comes and goes, doesn't it, with these young ones. There's a minute, wow, I got it, the horse is soft in a moment, he's, but that's pretty good, really nice. Sink into your left leg. Your salvation will be into your left leg. Good there, there you go. Liz, keep coming a little bit, nice tempo. Good, Liz, fingers closed. Okay, let's walk again and walk your horse. There you go, Liz, walk. And right, as I go to the walk, right, I've got to sink into the saddle, right? My seat bone, my tailbone touches the saddle, right? And I close my fingers and my shoulder stays up a little bit, right? My hand stays up a little bit. And he was on a downward transition, better to slightly elevate the hand than to lower on the, on the withers. Posting trot again. When we can, there we go. Linda's warming up, there we go. Excellent. And take your time, Linda, when you're set. Take your time. There you go, Liz, beautiful. A little more inside left, like if you can. You know how we can some have equal distribution in our stirrups, 50-50? You know, there, Liz, you could almost put 60-40, 70-30. Put a little more weight into the inside left leg and left stirrup. There you go, wonderful. Watch the left hand, it doesn't get flat. You want 45 degree angle with your hands, right? I want my hands, I don't want them flat. I don't want them at 90 degrees. I want them basically right dead smack in the middle, 45 degree, where my hand works functionally with my elbow. There you go, right on. A little more natural flow. What is that, did you say a six year old? Yes. Six year old, good. A little more natural pace there. Big quarter horse, Liz, isn't it? That, yeah, I mean, I'm impressed with this, you know, the, the stature of it. Okay, guys, let's change direction. Let's look out for one another. There you go, Chelsea, slip right on through this diagonal. You got a nice spot. Perfect. There you go. Beautiful, your young horse looks very good. There you go there, Linda. Now as I'm changing direction, Linda, I've gotta be thinking, put a little weight into my right leg. A little weight into my right leg. That's it, don't let the horse hold its head to the outside left. Soft right rein, right leg. There you go, Liz, nice. Keep moving a little bit. Liz, you can make a circle here, right around me. You've got a nice opening circle. That's beautiful. See how you found the, keep moving in front here, in front, in front, come on. There you go, this way you slip right in front of Chelsea. It's kind of like driving a car on a freeway, isn't it? Finding the open space, the good ride, 
you know, being left alone. Some people find it easier than others. Some people try to stay out of the way so much they're in the way. You got to keep out doing your thing a little bit. And let's transition to the war. A little stronger to the right or not really? Chelsea. Um, to the right. Okay. Walk, Linda. Walk. Oh, walk. Ch check your railing. As you make a downward transition, you got to think, he's going to ask me to walk. I heard, you know, I'm going to kind of tweak my reins about a half and then ask. You know, so this way my hands don't kind of get back up in here because your neck is like, the horse's neck is like an accordion. It comes, it gets longer and shorter, doesn't it? And as your horse flexes and shortens the neck, our reins can get a little long. So we want to be efficient, right? Hands out in front of you there, Linda, at the walk. Posting trot again. Ask your horse to trot on, Liz, right? Nice. Your horse seems very relaxed and stable, right? So this horse will allow you to ride with rhythm, right? Some of the other younger, like Bob's horse is a little, a little settling in nicely, but a little greener, a little more on the muscle. There you go, Bob. Work that corner up there as best you can. There you go, Linda. Keep moving, not too much hand. Watch, Linda, that your hand doesn't get separated too wide and we're riding the horse too wide-handed, right? We've got to keep our hands nicely out in front of us. There you go, keep going there, Chelsea. And now walk your horse again. Walk the horse again. So Bob, with this young horse, again, as you said, it's about getting the relationship downward transitions, trot, walk. Rideability, right? Getting that young. So I know inav invariably they want to kind of go. So as you as the rider, you got to be very creative, patient, and un, you know, got, got a lot of different ideas and transitions and things for your horse to think about. Okay, let's go back to the trot. Posting trot. Nice relaxed flow. Posting trot. Eyes up, Linda, looking through the turn. When everything is in good shape, Linda, I'm looking up and my eyes are out. We can hand, you know, rain length, eyes. These are things that we can address, that we actually can be accountable for. You know, it minimizes some of the pitfalls of this sport. Okay, now if we can, settle it, Bob, just a second. Yeah. Liz, as you're trotting, look at me. Try not to trot so straight up and down but a little bit with the hip angle closed. A little bit this way. I'm touching the saddle that way rather than you're working too hard. You know, gently close that hip angle. Good, okay. Take your time, Bob. Feel the left rein, Bob. There you go, way up into the corner. Very nice. How about a little sitting trot, guy? Sitting trot. Good, Bob. Relax. Not too slow. Good, Bob. Excellent adjustment there. Very nice. Very nice adjustment. There we go. And posting trot again. Oopsie, ah, Chelsea. Fell a little bit behind us there. Pick it up a little bit, Liz, right? You've got to recognize that as you went into the post, the horse kind of went, oh. You lost a little bit of the hind end and the, the, the rhythm. Good, Bob. The horse is starting to breathe a little bit. Nice. Great. Great. Very good. Bob, when you can think about it, we also want to think about our position. A little more weight into the heels. Chelsea, that's excellent. Good lower leg position. Your foundation is very good and solid there. That's great. There we go. Way up into the corner, Linda, here. Yes. Way up. There you go. You know, it, I would say 25% of the time we should be riding a little bit artificially deep into the corner and not trimming our turn. So I will make my horse, Bob, keep coming. There you go, once in a while, there you go. And then ride your other corners more normal, there you go. Now go into a two-point position, two-point position. There you go, Chelsea. That's all right. You're doing great. That young horse looks super. Got a nice way. Good, good, good. Support with your leg. Support with your leg. Great, Linda. Stay with it. Go for it, Linda. Yes. Yes. Do it. Yeah, nice. Hip angle close. You're doing it. Sweet. Lovely. Posty trot. Nice, Liz. Supporting with your leg. More weight into yours. Nice, Bob. Good with your leg. 
Still stay with, that's okay. Arms quiet, watch shushing the horse with your elbows. Posting trot, everybody. Posting trot. There you go, Linda, catch your breath, take your time. If you need to catch your breath, you do so, right? We're not in a hurry and we do exactly what we want to do. There's no rush. Give yourself a minute and just chill it out. Okay, let's walk everybody, walk. Your, whoop, watch tip and foot, right? That downward transition, I've got everything whoop, here a little bit, right? I don't want to kind of get that motion, right? That, you know, some horses stop quickly and abruptly, but we've got to kind of mitigate that a little by, you know, kind of standing here a little bit into our seat and not letting that horse tip us. Let's just give our horse a minute to relax a little bit. That's it, good for the young horse just to stretch its neck a little bit. You know, with these young ones, a lot of things that I like to do is when introducing green horses, you know, I'm, I'm a big believer in trotting fences, you know, because sometimes with the young horses, if we start to gallop at a fence, and particularly a new one, I don't know how brave your horse is, but some get a little squeamish. So I find, you know, to trot fence is very useful so the horse understands the, 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 the protocol. Because sometimes when you're galloping, it's hard to regulate the stride. And then, son of a gun, and then you're moving, they can move a little left or right a little quickly. You know, and I think, I believe this, good habits and bad habits can be taught. And I think if we teach a horse in a logical, positive manner, oh, I, well, I have a horse that came in one month ago. It, it dances at its own shadow. And the, the, the young lady told me, the horse will go if you let him sniff the jumps. I said, you know, I can dig it, sniffing the jumps, but reality is, at any other level, there's no sniffing. You know, the horse has to listen to the rider, but we can nurture and teach them to a point where they trust the rider. So it all started a couple weeks ago with this horse, whether it's going to this one, it was squeamish, and now I've got it going like little cold turkey over that, come out of the barn, I'll go right down over a little spooky fence. That horse has to trust me. You know, so as long as those horses have that confidence to trust that rider. Okay guys, let's tidy up the reins. We're gonna work a little canter. And again, what I think is also, what I would throw to you guys, because it's a nice medium-sized group. You know, if there's stuff that you wanna exchange ideas. Yo, I've been doing this. You know, I've been thinking that. I'm not really getting the, you know, it, a good time to do it, you know, here, or, or little, little things that you wanna discuss. Okay, shorten up the reins. Get our heels down, deeper Liz, not good enough, deeper heels. Stand up out of the saddle Liz, there you go. Anchor the leg, right, set the reset button. Get my heel down, now I sink in, good job. And you're, that's a constant resetting all the time, right? Anchoring our leg, there you go. Linda, sit still there as you're moving the horse. I noticed a lot of extraneous upper body. Not necessary, your horse is walking lovely, stay smooth. And let's go to a posting trot. Look at me with my elbow. Your hands are here. I want your elbow a little more out in front of you. I want your elbow here. I want to be this type of rider where I can feel and think ahead rather than be reactive with long reins. Very nice, Chelsea. Good job. What is that? A little twister? What type of bit is that, Chelsea? Just a nice snap. Uh, Bob, what do you got in? Okay, so like, uh, what do they call that? Uh, is that a Bristol where they have the, the little hint? No. Damn it, I'm spacing on it. The little hinge in the middle. Is that a Dr. Bristol? Uh, it's like a Dr. Bristol. You know, they have like, you know, the little thing in the middle. It's like a link in the middle or something like that. Yeah, okay, I'm with you. I, I, was, I had a senior moment. There we go. And sitting trot. That's it, Linda, stretch up. Good job, stay with it, you're good, you're good, beautiful. Relax, good, 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 good. And posting trot, Linda, nice. You wanna touch it, back to your posting trot, Liz. Pick up the rhythm, Liz. Innately pick up a little flow. You know, invariably, when we go into a sitting trot, don't we all just go and slow down? Just because we go to a sitting trot doesn't necessarily mean we slow down. We still have to keep some rhythm. There you go, Chelsea. Okay, guys, let's change direction changing direction. Look, you pick a diagonal that's wide open for you. I like rolling back here just in front of the red flowers. Gorgeous. Keep coming down here, Linda. There you go. Okay, now what we're going to do, I'd like to work the canter on the left lead. What we're going to do is we're going to canter, and I know these are young horses, but I like to kind of canter, I don't know, 10 strides and then come back to the trot. 
and then repeat. This is all good for these young horses, Liz and Chelsea, Bob, Linda, all good practice for us. So again, at your discretion, canter left lead, canter approximately 10 strides, and then return to the trot. Repeat that a few times. Canter left, Chelsea, go for it. Good girl, nice, that's what, fabulous for a four-year-old, that's so nice to see. 10 strides there, Chelsea, Bob, at, when you're set, guys, pick it up, and then trot. That's lovely, believe in the canter, commit, commit, there you go, sweet. And now you're trot, right? That's, it's a nice mind game, that was great, Linda. Reset for a moment, Linda, and then do it again. Pick up your canner, 10 strides, trot. Bob, it's 10 strides and trot, buddy. Let's not get overextended. Right, I want these horses asking for their canner, coming back, right, rideability. All good for these young horses. Linda, did you canner yet again? Let's see what you got. Stay smooth and relax into the canner. Commit, commit, give, make it happen. Relax your arm. There you go, believe in it, not so slow. There we go, eight, nine, ten, trot, whoa. Bob, let's see what you got, sir. Let's see what you got, Bob. How about a little canter, my man? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, trot, Bob. You went about 13. You know, it's a nice little mental game also, you know, try 10. When you're better, you'll do seven. But this is good for this horse, canter, trot, ask for, you know, keep it in focus, do it again. Guys, let's see it one more time, Chelsea, and then we'll change direction. It's hard on the straightaway, Bob. Be patient. Don't rush yourself. Liz, let's see your canter, please, to the left. Don't rush yourself. Get your leg down underneath you. Don't let it start flopping too far back. Canter left. Come on. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Trot. Pretty darn good. All right. Okay, guys, what do you say? We change direction. Let's work it to the right. Very nice. Remember, Liz and Linda, all of you guys, when we ask for the canner, it is an it is a up transition. It's not a backward transition into the canter. The horse must somehow come nicely into the canter and not kind of be recalcitrant or slow or negative. The rider's got to come in, come forward into the canter then balance it up. When you're set, same exercise to the right. We will canter 10 steps, 8 to 10 strides, bingo, come back to your trot. Linda the rain length, Linda the rain length. Do it, Bob. There you go. Settle it down, Bob. Great, Liz. Wonderful. What a nice horse, huh? Great. Sit still, Chelsea. Stay tall with your body. Don't rush yourself, Chelsea. Stay tall. Good, Liz. Sit down, right? Remember, no posting at the canter. Stay down. Bob, organize. There you go. Remember, we don't want to run into the canter, Bob. Good. Good. Linda, let's see it to the right when you can. Whoop, take your toe. Oh, good. That's all right. Smooth it out. Looking good. Excellent. Good, calm and cool. Linda, let's do it one more time and then we'll take a breather. There you go, Chelsea. Good, Liz. Remember, Liz, on that downward transition, let's not lower those hands. All righty. Okay. All righty, guys, let's walk our horses for a minute. So again, you know, Again, rider and horse exercises, transitions, variety, change of direction, you know, walk, trot, trot, walk, into the canner. Oh, your saddle pad is slipping way out. When we take your time, we'll reset that. Uh, you know, again, particularly for the young horses, also for a rider, the mental stimulation, you know, of trotting, canner, counting ten, trot, 
certain specific detail like that, you know, gives us the focus. Your horse is quite nice. Remember the thing, Liz, every once in a while, just stay seated. Every once in a while, you love, you, you love kind of just popping out of the saddle, which is fine. You know, we have to have a versatile seat, a two-point and a three-point, but we have to be comfortable, just like you're sitting there beautifully at the walk, you know, that yes, I have to at some point ride what if I'm coming to a fence or whatever with support and guidance here. Other times I can afford to be a little bit out of the saddle. So as a rider, you know, we've got to have the versatility. Okay, we're just, oh, she's going to go notepad. Wow, you haven't seen that in a while. All right. Da -da -da -da. Everybody kind of warm enough? You warm enough? You doing all right? Now, where's home for you? Sure. Shawa, Flemington. All right. You know what we're going to do? What's your name? Tony? Hi. Would you be kind of, we're going to just do a rail on the ground. You see that blue rail there in the jump? You wouldn't just knock it down and just put it on the ground next to that. The top rail? Yeah, just, and I'm going to do that the same and we'll line them up. Okay, so again. I think some, these are young horses. I'd rather start a little conservative and see, let these horses get a little comfortable before we start going right to fences. So what we'll do, we're going to put two poles on the ground. We've got this pole here. Yeah, you're right there. It's lovely. Perfect. Yeah, lovely. Super. Okay. I don't know how many strides this is. It could be a six. It could, I don't really... Doesn't really matter. What we want to do here, this is kind of breaking the ice a little bit. So we're going to trot it the first time. I think we're going to go to our left. We're going to just trot our rails, bland vanilla, right up over the rails. Let the horses get comfortable, right? Well, young horses, we're willing to, you know, give them a minute to get comfortable. Up and over at the trot. If that, now, if, if that goes nicely, which I'm expecting it will, then what I think we could do is if we want, we could canter the first rail and then we're going to try to trot the next one. So we want to kind of canter this one and trot that one. We'll do that twice and then we'll canter the whole line in six. So it's trot, canter the first, trot the second, do it again, canter the first, trot the second, and then canter, canter in six. So we can kind of do it one at a time but yet all together. You know, you just got to give so. We start on the res or whoever wants to go first, we can circle down there, guys, and we'll start at a trot over our little poles on the ground. Bob, you're in good position. Ladies, come on over. We want to cut through these early exercises, otherwise it gets chilly waiting and waiting. So we want to keep it timely, organized. There you go. Slow down. Slow with your hand. Don't throw the horse away, Bob. Light feel on the mouth. Right? Contact, Bob. Lovely. That's as simple as that, Chelsea. Beautiful. Less is better. Very lovely. Eyes up, Chelsea, right in the center of you. Bob, as I'm getting there, watch being too giving. You know, I want to make sure I'm there, just supporting, because my young horse, I want to make sure I'm guiding and channeling rather than abandoning. Great. Very lovely. Steady with your lower leg, Liz. Remember, stay nice and straight after that fence. Good, Linda. Smooth and relaxed. Smooth and relaxed. Excellent. Excellent. Nice steady lower leg. Perfect. Bob, I think we'll try cantering and then trotting the second if we can. That's all right. Good. That's all right. Now trot fine. Relax, Chelsea. You're doing great. This is not easy. Outstanding. Good. All right. Trot your horse. Very good. All righty, Liz. When you're set, we'll canter the first. Remember, Linda, we've got to think, relax and get into the canter first. Then I can balance, right? I don't want to start pulling too early. There we go. Canter in. Oh, wonderful. That young six-year-old. Very nice. Trot your horse. Get it done. You're all right. Whoa. Very good. All righty, Linda. Wonderful. And trot your horse. Fat. Oopsie lock. Good recovery. Good balance on your part. Nicely handled. Nicely handled. 
a good ad lib, good balance there. Okay, do it, Bob. Canner, trot. Canner, super. That's a great ride. Wonderful. And trot your horse. Ho, oh, Bob. Ho, oh, Bob. Center, center. All righty. One more time. Chelsea, Liz, and Linda. Bob, hang on one second. We'll send these three, and then you're going to pop it one more time. Very nice. Outstanding. Oh, very lovely. Elevate your hand a little bit. Great. Nice and centered. And when you're set, Liz, canter to the left. Remember, as I pick up the canter, get my eye on this pole. You guys are handling this well. Look left, canter. Nice and centered, smooth and relaxed. Got to dink it in. All right. That's all right. You were going for the short distance, and the horse was a good boy. He fit that in pretty nicely. All right. Relax, Linda. There you go. There you go. It's all right. You know, it was kind of tough, Linda, picking up the can. He had very little space, and then just, just didn't quite get a rhythm. You know, you picked up the canner just on the corner, and then it was a little slow. Okay, let's canter the line now once, guys. We'll do it once, and then we'll change direction. When you're set, Bob. Okay, let's see what we got here. Stay smooth. Fine, that's all right. The horse waited very well. That was a seven strides, but no worries. I don't mind that. The number is immaterial to the evenness of the stride. And each horse is a little different. Relax, there you go. One, two. Super, nice, a little more natural rhythm, great. That horse is waiting so nicely. That horse is so soft, Chelsea. Very nice disposition. Look to the left and canter, look. Canter, look, relax your arm, down into your leg, give a little, give a little. Here's the set. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well done. Well done. All righty, Linda. And then let's, let's flip a U-turn, guys. After Linda goes, we're going to come back the other, war, uh, the other way. Relax your arm. Look at it, Linda. Soften up. Outstanding. That's all right. Love the first pole. Okay, it got a little long, the seven strides. We were a little off that last pole. Fine. I think, guys, we don't need to trot it to the right. Actually, I should say, for those that think they might want to trot it the first time, do so. For those that say, hey, I'm going to can the first and trot the second. So a little bit of a fielder's choice here. Okay, so it's... What are you going to do, Bob? Are you going to canter in, Bob? Okay, try, fine. You can't go wrong, I think, in that line of thought, which is a little conservative, but do it right, set the tone. Yeah, smart. And then canter? No, trot this one, and then we'll do, yes, good job. Okay, Chelsea, what you like? And then what we'll do, Bob, we're going to canter the first, trot the second. Now, Linda, are you going to trot it the first time, or are you going to canter and trot? Okay, I'm with you. Lift your hand and nice and straight. Good. There you go. Relax, Liz. Liz, we're going to canter in, trot out. Canter in, trot out. That's all right. Calm and cool. Again, it looked like we didn't quite establish enough step on that right lead to get your eye using a little bit. It got a little bit backward on you. Smooth and relaxed. You're all right. That's okay. I don't mind it. So that's typical, a little sticky to the, to, to the right, as you said. Picking up that right lead. 
I saw the one time we it picked up the left and then made a flying change to the right. Right. Okay. And that you think that's a physical thing, or you think that's just a an acquired taste? It's been seven years. Right. And I'm back. I got you. Okay, so it's, it's it turned into the way it is. You know what? I can't get a right knee on them. Right, right. Even on a little circle, on a circle, and then. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. Give. That's it. Fit it in. Stay at the trot. Oh. Good. Nice, Bob. You know, again, the horse, I think, you know, we've got to get that horse to step into that right leg. So you've got to give a little with your hands and get that can of the horse is being a little over soft here. Okay, when you're set. Good. That's all right. Trot, 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 trot. Good job. Nicely done. Remember, as I want to trot, I don't want to wrestle down on the neck. I've got to open the hip angle and just kind of get my balance up that way, right? And if anything, just, but the horse is being very good as a young four-year-old. Keep coming, Liz, keep coming. Not too slow. All right. Really nice disposition, huh? Wonderful. Oh, there you go, Linda. Hot damn. Great. Give, give, give. Super. Linda, outstanding. You nailed it. You nailed it. First of all, my compliments, the right lead was a highlight, right? The highlight was getting that right lead and then the rest just followed. Excellent. All righty. Bob's going to canter it and then we're going to canter the... Now, Linda, you're good on this. You're okay on this. You two are going to let these two finish up, and then we're moving on. Got to make it work, Bob. Keep on cantering. Yes, sir. Good job. Fine. Stay right in the center. That's all right. Good job. One more time, Chelsea. Now we're going to canter at Chelsea. Likely seven strides. Super. So interesting, you know, and again, observation. I don't know if it's a fact or not, but clearly the horses are a little more goy this direction, right? You know, the, the, the six is, it's riding six, whereas seven was the other way. So just food for thought on that, right? Whether it's the pull of the gate or right lead. And I always think this, do you guys know, like, if you had to say, which way is your horse faster, left or right? Left. So that dispels my belief. Most of the horses that I ride, I find they go like hell on the right and they're more balanced enough. And I also think people always lead the horse to the left, turn to the left. They do everything better left. <laughs> Your horse looks better to the left than to the right on the canter. Yeah, it's easy to fix it up. Right? I mean, I find like, just, I don't know why, whether it's our human nature, but I don't know, I find the right, but whatever, just crazy thought. Okay, let your horses walk a second, stay warm. We'll get the trot fences going. That blue pole can go back across on that one if you would be kind enough to do that. Yeah, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Okay. Okay. So again, I'm probably taking it a little bit conservative, but I think with the young horses, and, I, and so they're better to kind of take a little, you trot, get the feel of each other, you know, trot a couple fences individually, trot in, canter out of the line, you know, and logically build for these young horses. You know, I think that's very important, you know, to just kind of, rather than come in too aggressive and create a problem. So again, so what I'd like to do is this, how about this, on a Posting trot to the right, we go up the side, just around that black X, right where you are, Bob, coming right through there, up and over our little brown fence. A little cluck, perhaps, the first time, and then, as best you can, up through the end, and then back to your trot, do it again. So we're going to take that twice to the right, 
okay? And then when Bob does it, bingo, the next person goes right, and then the next one goes, will cut. So that first jump is that brown one. Two times to the right. You can't go wrong with a little cluck, perhaps, the first time, but you guys know your horses better than me. But I know we have some young horses here. You know, okay, when you're set, Bob. I'm sure he's not an appendix, he's all quarters. Wow, I'm impressed. Not too rushed, hands quiet. Super use of the clock, beautiful, sir. Love that soft communication, just enough. Next, Bob, one more time, sir. Now, Bob, think about your hands. I don't want to start getting anxious hands at the jump. Stay nice and quiet. Stay nice and quiet. Take your time, a little left. Super, that's fine. Little left. What I'd like to see on the back side is you naturally feeling the left. Right. Next! Right, Bob, the jump was the horse got a little blase, no big deal, but just on the back side, it softly feel the left rein so the horse doesn't rush you to the right there. Okay, who's playing next? There we go. Chelsea. Chelsea's rocking it. Little left rein, perfect. Great use of the cluck and a lovely jump and well ridden to turn. Nice start. I wouldn't change much. Try it just like that again. One more time. Yeah, yeah, you're entitled to two cracks too, you know. Remember, when you have your distance, eye up. Eye up, heels down. Great. Oh, cute as a button. Next. Excellent. Ready, Miss Liz? Get, a, get enough rhythm at the trot, right? Let's not start too blasé, right? Get a nice rhythm going. Stay with the horse, a little positive at this jump. Outstanding, oh, wonderful. Super, trot it again, lovely, lovely. And then Linda, you'll be going next. On top of the jump, Liz, eyes up, eyes up, eyes up. That's all right, great, oh, so nice. He's a model citizen so far. Perhaps a little cluck if you like, but you know your horse. Lovely, Liz, Linda, good, good. And nice use of the left rein, Linda. One more time, please, lovely, lovely. Remember, on top of the jump, keep my eye up. Keep my eye up. Smooth and relaxed. When I see on top of the jump, my eyes are up, looking ahead. Super, and there's that nice right lead. Beautiful. All came together, lovely. Okay, here's what we're gonna do now. Let us Trot this green one, and, and again, I don't want to sugar, want me to take the top bar off the first time and then put it up the second time? Makes sense, right? Worst case, it's a little, you know, so we're going to put a ground line here, and also I think it's important, young horses, you know, typically will use a ground line. There's a time and a place not to, but I think as they're learning better to have positive reinforcement on the horse than a little bit too straight up and down and they get a little confused. So, you know, there's a time and a place to... So I'll just put this here. So now what we'll do is this. We're going to, <coughs> to the left, trot our little orange. After the first time, keep cruising around. If everything looks good, we'll put the bar up for the second time. Then keep coming around, option. Trot the black and white or can of the black and white X. Option, okay? That's it. Uh, the orange here twice, and then after you do it, you're going to keep going around, and then you're going to go right where Bob is and take the little black one, and that's an option. You can trot it or canter, depending on how you feel and what's appropriate. I would say Liz, you'll likely be cantering. Chelsea, you'll likely be a Bob would like to canter if his horse is going to, and it's on the left, he's likely a candidate for that. 
and it's on the left lead. I think you might be in good stead as well. You know, but again, if the horse is still trot or you know whatever, you just can you warm up a little. Again, a, a nice subtle horseman ride. I like that clock without abandoning the horse with the hand. You know, the support of the hand for young horse is important, right? We don't want to just chuck the reins and they get a little lost. Where am I? You know, they want that little light contact, a little leg to hand. I'm not, oh damn it, I forgot to put the rail up. I'm a knucklehead. That's all right. The horse wasn't ready for it anyway, Bob. Okay. Now we're ready. Straighten it out. Now that was a little bit of a precursor. Let's straighten this horse out. We got to be a little stronger with our left rein. We got to have our more right leg. And let's seal that off. He's not to run by the jump. Settle it down, settle it down. Feeling the left rein, right leg. Feeling the left rein, right leg. Good, that's all right. And now take your black. Keep coming, nice rhythm. Nice. That's, that's all right, good. So we can see with the greenness of the horse cantering a jump, Adds another variable, right? I mean, if the horse wants to get a little squiggly, it's harder to react. I think here, you the first time got caught a little sleepy. It looks like that horse has a little tendency to want to go to the right. If we see that, when you were doing the poles on the ground, the horse was leaking it to the right. Here, leaked it to the right. They're actually shimmied a little left. But anyway, just, you know, it's never over till it's over. There you go, good, keep cantering. And now we'll come back to our trot. We'll do it again, and then we'll take our black and white X. Good. Right in the center, on top of the jump, my eyes are up. My heels are down, staying with the horse. Right on. That's all right. Simple change or flying. Good. Oh, you got a nice flying change. Wonderful. All righty, Liz, start walking. Great. Oh, wonderful. Horse has a very nice brain and giving you some very nice rideability. Very nice, Chelsea. Nice rhythm, Liz. Don't labor through the turn. Get the rhythm, get the rhythm. Nice flow. One, two, one, two. Super. Good ride. Excellent. One more time, just like that. When I can think about it, I'm thinking about my lower leg position. I'm thinking about the, the weight into my heels, steadying my leg. Smooth and relaxed, eyes up. Great jump. Good job. Stay right in the center, go around. That's it. Keep rolling there, Liz. Keep rolling. Excellent. Oh, nice. Yep, 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 yep. Very good. Good. Nice and centered. Nice and centered. Super state. Beautiful. Just on top of the jump, Linda, a little more positive body language, meaning just a little bit there. We'll trot that once again like that. Your horse jumped it nicely, almost a little too high. Right, your horse put in a beautiful jump, almost a little too high. Nice and centered when you're said center. Perfect, that was a nice ride, good for you. Excellent. Now our little black X. And then when you land, canter away. Land and canter. Good job. Got a canter, that's it. On the back side, that little canter. Good. All righty. Now we'll change the pattern 
And it's going to be something like this. We're going to start on our little brown jump here at the trot. And we're going to trot in and we're, I'm going to lower that to the ground in the blue. We're going to trot in and go four strides to three stride. Trot, canter, canter. Most probably all the way around, repeat again. Trot in, canter, canter, four and three. Then you go over the little black X through the middle at the canter the other direction. Okay. The red, that one, could you just put one side down and one side down so it's just an X? Yes, please. Thank you. Whoa. Yeah, one side down and one side down. Exactly. Yep, lovely. And then the blue, I apologize. Uh, now guys, should we put the blue exit? Or just X the top bar, what would you like? It's a, anybody, doesn't really matter to me. We can X the whole thing down. I think we X the whole thing down. X and X, yes please, thank you. Okay, so the first time it's like, kind of get it done, right? The first time it's like, ooh, yeah, you know, and then the second time, we refine it, right? I mean, you're gonna have to be on your, I'd be thinking, and you know better, this horse might be a little apprehensive, wanna zip out to the right? I don't know, guess what? You'll have to kind of be feeling it, making it happen, right? Little connection. But the most important thing is that the horse doesn't get away from you. And you and I both know we can step over those. So if the horse is a stinker, he stops. I don't want him to blow by the jumps. Okay, when you're set, trot in, four to three. The horse is really nice, nicely schooled and very, very nice tight. Mm -hmm. You think it'll be a hunter jumper? What do you think? It uh, looks like it can go any which way. His is jumpers, but he's such a It's hunter. got a night, I mean, a lot of versatility. It's beautiful. Nothing like options. Good job, Bob. You're making it happen, man. Make it work. Easy watch, spreading those hands out too fast and too quick. You're athletic. That's a great attribute. Watch that you don't start wiggling your hands too quick, right? All in good time, right? But watch getting my hands too, because then the horse, nice job. Now, trust it, come in. I think you'll even be better this time. You're all set. The horse is green. Take your time. Don't rush, don't rush. Outstanding. Nice, Bob, nice. Good effort. Now do your black X, good effort. Good effort. What do you say, Chelsea, start to wiggle and get ready. Take your time, take your time. Easy with your hands. Good. Again, right now, you know, the horse is a little young, a little green. Got to watch that your hands don't do too much that way. You know, you're wanting to be positive. You're wanting to be free. Let that horse go, but watch kind of abandoning. Good job. Good. What was that? How do I what? Do I teach with my eyes closed? One, two, woo! Cute. Wow. That was nice to see. But it's a very nice, it's a four-year-old coming five. That's a nice young horse, huh? Very nice, a very soft jump, very soft round jump. So nice to see. Okay. Stretch up. Now we're going to do that outside line one more time. Beautiful. Again, same way. Outside line one more time. Trot in. Smooth four. And now your horse will know how to follow it better. Let's start to walk. You're ready. You're going to do the outside line and then canter the X through the middle. Outstanding. One, two, three, four. Hmm. Now your black X. Liz, just do it like that, okay? <laughs> She's giving a beautiful demo. Excellent. Nice to get a good view of, just, you know what I mean, a good demo of that. Excellent. All righty, Liz, ready. Very nice, Chelsea. Upon landing, relaxing four. We're there, center. 
One, two, three, four, super. What a powerhouse jump. Good for you. Yeah. All the way around, repeat the outside line. Well done. This time it'll even be sweeter because the horse now has a sense of what's being asked. I think it'll even be, now trot your horse, chill it out. How about stay really nice and centered? Put the practice on the, put the premium on being centered. Don't rush, don't rush. Centered, oh, 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 oh. And now our black X. I like that ride, beautiful ride to that last one. You know, and, and, and it's hard, because in an indoor, you know, it's confined. We tend to ride a little more controlled backward. That was a nice, relaxed stride, and your horse responded well there. All righty, Linda. Believe in it. Get it done. Get it done. You're all right. Positive. Pot. A little cluck. Wonderful. Good job, Linda. Go all the way around. And now you'll nail it even better. That was great. Good effort. Now trot your horse. Chill it out. Trot your horse. Good. Keep that rhythm. Keep that rhythm. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Hot damn, perfect. Horse is making a big jump on that middle one, ain't he? Now our black X at the trot. Stay with it, stay over the horse. Good job, nice. You know, again, you did it. You know, the horse really gave you a big effort at that red flower jump. I mean, a big one. You know, as a result, you know, that you, you gave it a little extra there. Nice job, though. Uh, particularly at the black one. You know, you're able to support your body nicely with your legs. Whereas on the one ox when the horse gave it a little, oof, it popped you back a little bit. But you regrouped pretty well. That was nice. How'd that feel? Yeah. Ah! <laughs> you're one of those perfectionists, aren't you? Ah! Okay, you see that cartwheel jump or whatever you call the wagon wheel? We want to take the top two rails off of that. Okay. Okay, how do you do this one? How do we do this one? All right, so that should be trot in five. And then this jump here, and then three, three, that's it. Okay. So it's gonna go something like this, guys. It's gonna be trotting over the orange to the little wagon wheel. It's kind of five strides. Could be a green six, but it's five or six. Then, fielder's choice on this jump here. This is, either a trot or a canter jump, whichever you prefer. I would say, Bob, your young horse, I'd come at a trot, so if the horse gets a little shifty, he doesn't fool you. And then I think canter down the outside line in three and three now. Remember, we trotted in and did four, but it's really three and three. So it's trot in, canter out. Option, trot or canter this little one here. I think Bob for sure should trot. Chelsea, I think you're all right to canter. Liz, I think you're all right. Linda, you're all right. But I think this young horse, just to make sure. Okay. Pay a little attention on that opening line. You got two little spooky jumps there. Do we add the four to three after or just one? You're going to do the three and three. That's canter in. So Bob's going to trot in, canter out. Option on this fence. It's either trot or canter. Bob's definitely trotting. I think you guys are all right to canter. And then if it's cool, canter down the outside line in three and three. Okay, if for some reason we're not comfortable, we can always trot in and canter out. But I think it's looking to canter. Okay, Bob. Concentrate, very centered.
Good ride. You made it work. Easy. Now we're going to break to the trot. I'm channeling the horse. I'm not using speed. A little cluck. Don't rush. That's a great effort, Bob. Nice. Take your time. Look. Three and three. Support. Lovely. All right. Oh, that was a little naughty. That was a little, because the other part was so lovely. So that's to the right. So that horse has that little bit of a pet peeve about leaking it to the right. I think we got to go up. You want to do the blue individual, then go down the whole line? Or you just do the whole line? Either or. Blue individual, and then do the line, or just go for the line? Uh, I'll do the line. Okay. Obviously, we've got to shut that right door. That's the, that horse, if it finds a little bit of a silliness, it's to the outside right. It likes to lean it to the outside right. Carry on, canter, left, left rein, right leg, left rein, right leg. Conti Make it work. Hold that left rein, Bob. Don't give up. Left rein, left rein. Open the left. That's all right. Fine. Okie dokie, Miss Chelsea. All right. And again, you know, fine line. Also, we're young. I think your horse is just about starting to bottom out. You know, these young horses, they kind of go and all of a sudden they go, oh, I, Dad, I can't anymore. I'm a little tired. You know, the, you, you, the, the, their attention span and their physical just gets a little bit, you know, we'll just have one more little pattern. Oh, center, two, three. That's five. It's a nice five off the trot. For you, Lynn, nice five. Here we go. That's all right, sit up. Fix that lead, take your time. Fix that lead, left lead, three and three. Oh, that's running long. I'm going to bring this in a little bit. And this is 44 and a half feet. And now you're black. You know what? Let me just tweak this a second. For some reason, this 45 is riding looser than anticipated. Right, it's just riding about six inches to nine inches too long. Why don't you just check out this outside line one more time, please? Okay, I just brought it in about nine inches to a foot, and it should just get us to that second oxer a little more comfortably. It was just a little too... You know, again, it's either five a little... I thought yours driggled a little to the right, and so you kind of wiggled a five and a half. You know, we'll get a shot at that again. It's either a loose positive five or just a soft slow six. Okay, just try this outside line three and three. Smooth, outside leg, outside leg. Got to move up a little. They're meeting this one so slow. Yeah. Right? I mean, God, it, it walks so tight. Let me just see this again. Let me, let me just double check, make sure I'm not crazy. One, two, three, one. Yeah, I mean, just a little freer. One more time. I mean, granted, the fence isn't very big, so they're not soaring over. They're kind of, but. There you go, you're all set. Three to three. Very good, okay. All right, Liz. Trot in. I think you land and move up for five. Right, if the horse stays nice and straight, you're gonna land, move up. Nice positive five strides. Better, okay, your horse was a little looser, you caught that. Yeah, it's funny. I, I think also they got a little more quiet down in that, that corner there. Rhythm. Yeah, there's the five. Nice. Good. Carry your hand up a little. Carry your hand up a little bit. Whoa, great effort. 
This will ride relatively comfortable, medium to medium. It's not going to be fast. It's a very lovely quarter horse. My God, it's got such size and range. Wonderful. Oh, oh, ah, you lift your hand up, take the mouth a little bit. Nice transition. I'm terrified of it. I'll make that a little narrower, a little more gentle. There you go. Alley nice. I mean, he, he was very loose and fluid in that opening five, dead easy, right? Yeah. Really nice. Commit, gotta commit, little clock. That's all right. If we can, we want to try to trot this and just get a little more stride. I think that would be better to kinder, if we can. Got to have a little more trot on it, a little more rhythm, a little more rhythm, a little left rein. Great effort. Great effort. You did phenomenal. This is lovely. A little cluck here. Yeah. Outstanding. Now trot in and canter out. Trot in, canter out. Look at it. You're all set. Nice, Linda. You're there. Support it. Right. Believe in it. Oopsie la. Now there we want to trot in and land and try to canter away. If we can, you made a nice jump there. We want to we want to try to land and just if we can see if he'll just canter away. Try that again. You did the hard part. This is review for you. You did the hard jumps. Let's do this again. Trot in and then canter out of this line. You nailed the big cartwheel ox or that wagon wheel. That was the that was the meat of the course. I think you took this little stuff for granted. Perfect. You're all set. Confident, a little cluck, you're all set. Perfect. Wonderful. A little rhythm helps. Yeah. Outstanding. Outstanding. Nice, Linda. Good for you. I like the conviction. From this to that oxer, you were a different horse and rider. You guys trotted in. You sailed that white one sweet. Now, that was nice. How you doing, all right? Outs uh, outstanding. Outstanding. All right. Let's try this pattern. We'll finish him up with the following. We're going to start. Uh, let's see. We want to do that one that way. Five. We're going to start on the black one this way at the trot. To that brown one. No number. Whatever. Trot up and over that one. Trot. Maybe canter up and over that one. Then what we're going to do is we're going to make a right turn. I think we trot in outside oxer. Long approach to this one to finish. So we're going to trot the black to the brown. I think we trot in, get a good ride up and over our oxer. And then if everybody's cool, I think we canter this one here. Okay? All righty. Let's finish it up strong, Bob. I think so. I think so. A little keep it, you know, I'm a positive reinforcement. Horses have all been good. Your horse is getting a little tired. Let's stay focused. Hi. What's your horse's name? Ollie. Ollie. Oliver Twist. Oh, that's not okay. I was going to say Ollie's a little bland for how good he is. He's a good boy. Wonderful. All righty, Bob. Fence two is going to be tricky for a Bob horse is going to want to lean into the right. Be a little unsuspecting here. Again, I think when I watch Bob, he's a good athlete. He's got to watch that his hands don't get wiggling too fast. And there you go, Bob. Sweet. Bob outstanding. Oh, yeah. Now trot. Chill it out. I think we're going to land and move up for five. Believe in it, Bob. Rock on, buddy. Canner on. Do it, Bob. Nice to see. Sweet. Very nice. 
more leg, less hand. A little bit of the Frank Chapeau method. Yep. More leg, less hand. Do it, Bob. Believe in it, Bob. You made the right decision. You made the right decision. And the horse followed you, didn't waver and weave. I was delighted with that. I was really happy with that five. No baloney, nice and straight, good effort, good solid canter, not right of center. You were seeing the right spots. As I say, good, nice young horse. It's in the process of learning right. And so we saw a couple times today, you can start to loosen up. You know, once or twice the horse got a little lean and right. So that's something, and you, you know, gotta just softly feel that left because if the horse wants to maybe make it, it could be to the right. So you just gotta bring that to the table. The other thing you could also do, you know, you're a good athlete, so you're able to say, you know, maybe a small little crop for the right side. If you, if, oh, you have one? No. I'm just saying, you know, you're, you're fine, but probably should have a little something. All righty. Outstanding. Thank you. Really nice. That was nice. Absolutely. But you know, for your younger sister, you rarely gets off the property. My God, coming in here, dealing with it. Nice, you know. But that's the way to do it. You got to kind of season it a little bit, you know. Stronger days, easier, you know. Okay, here we go. I think. Wow. Now we're going to trot in. And the five will be just right on the money. Hold your horse straight. Hold your horse straight. Center. Center. She recorrected herself, but again, that's, we'll have her repeat that. There was no reason for her to, you know, maybe the horse just surprised her there a little bit. Fit it in. I like that decision to go for the easy one. Let's repeat the, the outside five stride line, trotting in five. I loved it, but there was quite a big bow to it, right? A really hard right drift on that line. You corrected the horse well over the jump, but I'd like to see over that entrance jump and upon landing the first few sides, a little more left rein, a little straighter. Softly feel the left rein. I'm not letting the horse go. Left, 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 left. Oopsie la, it's all right. Fit it in, go short. That's all right. Let's come up and around and do that one more time. That was a hard one to register. Trot your horse. Good, settle it down. I just put the orange wheel angled that way. I bet the horse stays a little straighter. Take your time. One, two, well, you're there, you're there. Good job. For whatever reason on that line at this point, the horse was leaning in a little more than usual. So, you know, you had to really kind of recognize that, you know, no, no, that's not good enough. I'm gonna have to really nail it. You know, really be nice. Arc the first line in five, if you can. Five? Yeah, put, it's either four direct, which is what Chelsea did a little on the go, or just a little curving five. I, I do the curving five. Really nice, Chelsea, your horse looks great. You got a nice young horse, you're doing a great job. You know, a lot of just, as I say, that was a little more unusual, but you know, in regards to the, the right drift there. Yeah. You know, it just, as you said, it's at an age where it can go any which way. You know, seasoning, canter, jump, trot one. You know, canter your rails. It's all good, right? Whether you go jump or hunter, you know, you've got a nice horse there. It needs the time just to kind of grow, but it's doing great. This is good exercise. One, two, three, four. But you have nice fundamentals. You know, your technique is good. Your thought process is, is excellent. Thank you. We'll keep an eye on that one for the future. Yeah, yeah, I do. Take your time. Oh, super. Two, three. He's a, one of the nicest quarters I've seen. I, I have not so much experience with a lot of quarters, but I'm, he just has a lovely step, this power, the size. Shit. Oh, wonderful. I don't have much to say other than that. Wonderful, right? I mean, you're, you shaped the five on the opening line. That's you making that decision. That was really lovely. Because this horse can do either, right? Four or five, it's up to you. You're, you're pushing the right buttons, really nice. Five was nice. You know, again, working on leg support, right? You got a nice partnership with her. Beauty, you got a great, 
thing going here. You know, as I say, just as you know, yeah, working on strengthening your yeah. leg, right? I mean, this is yeah. everything. You know, if you can work your two point yeah. every once in a while, your trot just, you know, so you get even better upper body control, but wonderful. Super, here we go. Gotta believe. Commit. Little clock, gotta go. Now, when we land from this orange one, we've got to allow ourselves to canter. I'm believing in the jump and I'm cantering upon landing. Rock and roll. Yeah. Good job. Good job, Lynn. Son of a bitch. That was a big one. I like that horse. Wonderful. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, yes. That last jump was dynamite. You had a great stride. You could feel that rhythm. Good job. You know what? You're right. He's a nice horse. He's, so He's a nice horse. Because you know what? On that oxer there, which he was a good, he said, you know, come with me. It was a little bit of a big one. And he just, he's plenty lovely, huh? Good job. You know, the oxers, as you said, you know, are a little different sensation. When we're a little further off the oxer, the horse is much more athletic and giving you that little extra. You know, but you handled it well. You handled it well, good job. You're having a great time. So think about, you know, think about when you're riding, you know, you got a nice relationship with it. Think about when you can, little things, rain length. You know, as you're wiggling on the flat, every once in a while I have to, you know, we talked about your arm position and rain length somehow being a little, just, you know, you don't want to change a lot, right? You got a good thing going. You, but maybe rain length a little bit, so it's just through the steering. You're a little bit with the horse rather than sometimes back in here. I'm not, I thought the horse was dynamite. Nice job. Well done. Well done, guys. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you Horses were all very good. Leave, would you pull a name out so we can give away a right Pull a name. Saddle pad. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> I don't know. I can't even do I know. Them. They're way down. <laughs> Made it easy for them. <laughs> Try that one. All right. Liz. Hey, Liz. Thank you, do you have somebody over there I can hand it to for you? Um, Elaine will take it. All right, Liz. Thank you. We're done. Yeah, you're. We're just at the halfway point now. Thank you. So, Bob, where's home for you? That was awesome. Where's home for you? Um, I, um, I'm in French town, but I keep him with uh, Suzanne. Oh,